Hello, first grade. I hope you had an awesome Halloween weekend. We are doing phonics lesson 57 today, and it is kind of a continuation of what we did on Friday. In the next few days, are also going to be talking about final stable syllables. But before we get to our new skills, I want to talk about some sounds in words. So first, I would like for you to echo the word cup. What is the initial sound in cup? K. Now say the word without the initial sound. Up, very good. Let's try some more words like that. Ready, say the word cough. What is the initial sound in cough? K. Say the word without that sound. Off, very good. The next word is Tape. What is the initial sound in tape? T. Say the word without the initial sound. Ape. Very good. Tape without the t is ape. All right, the next word is fill. What is the initial sound in fill? Now say the word without it. Ill, very good. Ill means sick. Next word is soak. What is the initial sound in soak? S what is the word without the initial sound? Oak, very good, a type of tree. His, his. What is the initial sound in his? and take off the initial sound, you get the word is. Very good. And the last word is gate. What is the initial sound in gate? G. Say the word without the initial sound. Eight. Very good. All right, please echo these words with me and listen for the sound in the final position this time, the final, the end position. Ready? Baffle, ruffle, stifle. What sound do you hear in the final position of baffle, ruffle, stifle? Do you hear the full sound in baffle, ruffle, stifle? Baffle, ruffle, stifle. What do you see that might make the full sound? F-L-E, right, F-L-E makes the full sound. All right, now echo these words. Dimple, apple, simple. What sound do you hear in the final position of dimple, apple, Simple, pull, very good. Here is dimple, apple, and simple. What letters do you see that might make that pull sound? P-L-E, very good. All right, last three words to echo. Bundle, cradle, fiddle. What sound do you hear in the final position of bundle, cradle, fiddle, dole? Very good. What letters do you see in bundle, cradle, fiddle that might make the dole sound? D-L-E. So what do you think that F-L-E, P-L-E, and D-L-E are? They're final stable syllables. They are all final stable syllables. Why are they final? They're in the final position of the word. They're at the end. Why are they stable? They don't change. And why are they syllables? They have their own vowel sound. Very good, the o, oh, the uh part. So, Remember from last week, we code final stable syllables 
with brackets in front of them and we cross out the silent E, okay? So let's go through and code all of these words. It won't take us very long, okay? So we're gonna start with baffle. We have final stable syllable F-L-E. There's my bracket. There's my crossing out of the E. Do you remember where we put the accent mark? Before the bracket, right? That first syllable is going to be accented. Baffle, that bracket acts as our divider mark. Baffle, okay? The A ah needs a brevi above the A. Ruffle, final stable syllable, F-L-E, bracket, cross out, accent mark, brevi above the U, ruffle, ruffle. Now this word is stifle, final stable syllable, F-L-E, bracket, cross out the E, accent mark. Now listen to this word, stifle. We need a macron above the I. This is long I, since there is not a double consonant. Stifle, okay? Let's move on to our second column. Dimple, final stable syllable, P-L-E, bracket, cross out the E, accent mark before the bracket. Dimple, there's another consonant, so we need a brevi above the I. Dimple. Final stable syllable, P-L-E. Bracket, cross out the E, accent mark. There is another consonant before the bracket, so this is a brevi above the A. That A says A, ah, this is apple. Last one for this column, final stable syllable, P-L-E, bracket, cross out the E, accent mark. There is another consonant. There is a brevi above this I. That means it says E. This is simple, simple. And last column, final stable syllable, D-L-E, bracket, cross out the E, accent mark. There is another consonant before the bracket. So the brevi goes above the U to make it say a. Uh. This word is bundle, bundle. Final stable syllable, D-L-E, bracket, Cross out the E, accent mark. There is not another consonant. So there is a macron above this A. We also need a K back on the C. This word is cradle, cradle. Last word, final stable syllable, D-L-E. There is a consonant before the bracket, which means the brevi goes before the I. It says I, fiddle, fiddle. Very good. We have one more thing to talk about today. Let me erase my board. I'm going to write some words on my board and I want you to see what you find at the end scrambled stables and feelings okay scrambled stable feelings okay what do you see at the end of the final stable syllables? ED and S, right? These are suffixes. So when we see these words, we need to box the suffix first. 
So in scrambled, I'm going to put a box around the ED. That's a syllable. In stables, I'm going to put a box around the suffix. Feelings, I'm going to put a box around the suffix, S. Okay. So this word looks a little funny now because the E in the final stable syllable is missing. Later this year, we're going to learn a spelling rule explaining why this happened. But words like these are still easy to read even without knowing the spelling rule. So let's go ahead and bracket off the final stable syllables and then we'll code the rest of the words to see if we can read them, okay? So final stable syllable, B-L-E, okay? Accent mark. Since we boxed the E, we are not going to cross it out. Okay. Okay, back on the C. There is a consonant, so brevi. This word is scrambled. Since the E is in the box, it doesn't need crossed out. Okay. For stables, we can cross it out with our final stable syllable, B L E. There's not another consonant, so we put a brevi. Or sorry, we put a macron. Got my rules mixed up. Stables. Stables. Now, some words have more than one suffix. We already put a box around the S, but can you tell me what other suffix there is? I and G. So we're going to box that one too. And our accent mark is going to go before this first suffix. I see digraph EE. -E. This word is feelings. 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 All right, before we get to our worksheet today, let's look at our new picture cards. We actually have three picture cards, but they are all going to help us remember our final stable syllables. All right, so first, I want you to guess the keyword for final stable syllable, F-L-E, that says full. Let's see if you can guess it. This is something you might find on a girl's dress or a blouse. It's usually at the edges to make the dress look fancier. Sometimes men wear them on shirts that go with tuxedos. Ladies who square dance might have rows and rows of them on their skirts. Do you know what it is? It's called a ruffle. Ruffle. Full. So when you see this card say ruffle. Full. The keyword ruffle helps us remember the full sound at the end. Ruffle. Full. Now, let's talk about the keyword for the final stable syllable, D-L-E, that says dull. This picture is usually made of wax. It has a string called a wick inside, and some people burn it for light. What do you think it is? It's a candle, candle. When you see this card say candle, dull, the keyword candle helps us remember the dull sound at the end. Candle, dull. And our last keyword is for the final stable syllable, P-L-E. It says pull. Let's see if you can guess it. This is something you would find in an office or a classroom. It's a tiny piece of metal used to hold stacks of paper together. Do you know what it is? It's a staple, staple. When you see this card, say staple, pull, because staple ends in pull, staple, pull. And our new sight word, we have one, today ends in final stable syllable pull, P-L-E. This word is people, 
people. People is spelled P E O P L E. People. Can you use the word people in a sentence? There are many people in the town of Paris. Very good today learning the final stable syllables. Please join me for today's worksheet.